Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, Billy Ray Cyrus. Welcome in to Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I am Zach, joined by, uh, I don't like saying sidekick because I feel like mm. we're an equal part of this dynamic I, duo. I do not mind but, being a sidekick. But the achy to my breaky heart, Yikes. if you will, uh, Mr. Mike. I spoke too soon. Yeah, and usually <laughs> I do comic book characters there, <laughs> and technically I am this week. Oh, no. Because Marvel produced no, back in didn't. 1994 if i can get my <sighs> weird foreign the right year and everything yeah a billy ray cyrus oh, man. comic book and we are looking at that today mike mm. because if you ever thought hey you never thought here and you never thought anything about that but there's the uh, oh my god the cover of it Wait, okay, so it's Billy Ray Cyrus looking like, uh, by the way, I went home last night and my wife was was watching Roadhouse, so it, it's a very reminiscent of a of, Roadhouse oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. character, uh, and then there's a Black Knight and what looks to be uh, an Indian man, um, and it's written by Paul Newman. Uh, Paul uh, S. Newman. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. And Dan Barry. Not the same one. Yeah, no, they were the uh, creators of this. Mm, they should be. For an, and maybe they were no for an imprint <laughs> that Marvel did from ninety four to ninety five called uh, Marvel Music. Oh yeah, everybody wanted that. They, now they I am, sense the 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 clamoring amongst the, the I unwashed am only, masses. I am only focusing on one issue because no. there are more, and I didn't want to be like, oh, I'll just. At first, I thought I'll do the whole episode on just all these Marvel music issues, yeah. but then I can thought, I guess a couple of them. Yeah, I'll let you guess Kiss. to see. Who, no, really? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, wow. I'm pulling up the full list right now to make I sure I don't miss anybody. Kiss would be one of them. But let me give you Queen's Reich. <laughs> Is that one of them? No. Here, let me let me give you just a little Legendary bit of background. Band Queen's Reich. Background, so you can get yeah, just like a time yeah. frame from this. Like Dead I said, Kennedys. it was it was founded in 1994. Okay. So Holiday in Cambodia had come out uh, like what 15 sure, years before sure, that now. Sure, so maybe sure. not the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> Um, it was a short-lived imprint of mm. Marvel Comics, and basically the concept um, had descended from a pre the previous you brought up Kiss. It had descended from a previous collaboration with Kiss. Oh, there you go. Where they had starred in a Marvel comic book super special. I guess that is a little old for Kiss. Yeah, and they had done some other stuff with Alice Cooper. Mm. So the series. Obviously, this turns out to be considered unsuccessful because it didn't even last all but a year. You know, I could see the Alice Cooper comic book being the biggest success of all of those that you named. Okay, here's what I'll tell you. So, we will do these others at some part in time, you know, at sure. probably, maybe yeah. not all of them, but yeah. some of them. Uh, you know about the Billy Ray Cyrus one we're mm -hmm. about to get into. Mm -hmm. Uh, you brought up, or we talked about Alice Cooper. There is a uh, Alice Cooper one that was, I think, the last one they did. That's actually like three different acts, kind of. Okay. I guess it was three separate stories. All right. So we have Cooper. So I'll tell you that there is one, two, three, four, five, six others done. Okay. This is 1994. 1994. Outcast. No. Okay. Um, but there are two hip hop ones. Okay. Um, Snoop Dogg. No, not that popular. Oh, okay. I don't know. Then I'll, I, I'll tell maybe, you. Maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, <laughs> Criss Cross is that one of them? Onyx is you one read of it them from the back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to flip it around. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Onyx is one of them. Onyx. Yeah. And the other one is KRS One. Okay. So Onyx. Now there's also another country star. The weird time. thing is, it was just about the rock. It wasn't about. <laughs> it wasn't about the group. The, wasn't about the group. Yeah. Uh, the other one is. It's 1995 that this one came mm -hmm. out, and you would think, okay, country star. Sure. Think of all the 90. It's Marty Stewart. Marty Stewart, of course. So yeah. Marty Stewart has one, and then we talked about Alice Cooper, and then there was a Bob Marley. Okay. Titled Tale of the Tough Gong. So we'll get to that one. 
<laughs> that sounds great. Tale of the Tough Gong. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. There is one uh, Hall of Fame rock band that I did leave off. Okay. The Rolling Stones. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. So, Rolling I, Stones. And then there's a, it just says Woodstock, 1969 to 1994. Oh, so this is Probably Woodstock 2. Probably some. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Second Woodstock thing. Brought to you by all the corporations you love. Woodstock 2. Exactly. Not as bad as Woodstock 99, but hey, that's still five years away. Oh, that's right. It was 99, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. The one with, wasn't that? That with was like, the corporation okay. one, yeah. It was the corporation one, and I know that this isn't directly related to this Billy Ray Cyrus comic book, but it's one comic book. It's not going to take that long. Okay. We're going to look real quick at who played at Woodstock 99. Yeah. Because um, that is a hor- that's the worst of them all, right? Allison Chains? No, weren't the, wasn't the lead singer dead by then? I don't know. I was never a big Alice in Chains fan. Really? I just, I wanted to know they kept a guy in a box. <laughs> and uh, if you're a rooster, you should never hang out That's around That's true. Him. I no just wanted roosters. to find that some of the performers. Oh, here we go. Many of the high profile acts, such as DMX, mm-hmm. Limp Biscuit, Limp Biscuit, Corn, Corn, Red Hot Chili Peppers, look at this, and Creed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My phone says a T Mobile expert is calling. <laughs> Why? Is I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my my identity has been stolen by Billy Ray Cyrus. That's funny. So let's get into uh, something that's not as bad as those. Creed. Oh my. Gosh. Creed. Um. Puddle of mud with two D's. Oh man, she hates me and <laughs> some other BDSM song. I don't remember. <laughs> B- yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all the acronyms in there. BDSM. Uh, don't worry. We won't talk about uh, Peacemaker this week. I can, actually can't promise that. Mm. We might. It might come up by the end. Of I have it. not watched the newest episode. We're on episode five, right? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched. Okay, it. then actually, yeah, yeah, I have. Um. So all you right. didn't react at all. It was that. Was that a choice you made? Yeah. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't want to spoil right. anything. Okay. All right. No stuff happens. But. No, I've been rewatching Ozark. Um, oh, are you because of the new that? episodes? No, I'm just in season two at this point. The time I have to watch TV is basically from about 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. each night. And that's about it. It's all I get at this point in my life. So I got you. So okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, with headphones on, <laughs> in a fetal position <laughs> over in the corner Sorry. of my, my room. <laughs> Uh, my, so my, my room, she calls it. It's a half bath. Well, that's, yeah. Hey, at least it's better than living under the closet. Like mm. Harry, or under the closet in the closet under the stairs. Like uh, it's got a, Harry Potter. It's got a leaky sink. Oh. Yeah, it's really moist in there. Oh, that, that <laughs> leads to mold. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, that leads to a lot of mold. Yeah. yeah well. Have you had somebody come check it? Me? For mold? Yeah. I mean, it's your room. Oh, the room. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Can somebody anybody. check you for mold? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's a yeah, it's a whole thing. Brought to you by Jimmy's self mold check. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's not, mobile, not mold, mold. <clears throat> Jimmy's mobile mold check service. Yeah, uh, we'll come to you. Tell them that uh, Mike and Zach sent you. Ten percent off all crack evaluations. Yep. All right, this Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> it's a slow burn. It was. <laughs> uh, but. Um, it's no surprise. This I, this thing's awful. Yeah, but obviously it's done in some sort of like cash. These, these things happen. I don't want to call it a, a cash grab scheme, but companies, no matter what it is, always try to get you know something that's a little cool to be around. Like yeah, kids love uh, reading biographies. Last night, well, but like last night was um, the Royal Rumble, mm. and. Uh, WWE is a company who loves to be able to benefit off some stardom and somewhere else. Sure, Johnny Knoxville was in it. Oh, the brain damaged Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, because, hey, we have a movie to promote. And also... You saw he literally got brain damage off of this new one. No. Yeah. He he he, he got hit by a bull, uh, tossed up in the air, came down... Well, it's not the first time he's been hit by a bull, right. too. He said this is the hardest he's ever been hit in his life. And he came down with brain damage. He was bleeding in his brain. And it, he said, he said the weirdest thing was that it led to uh, cognition issues. No shit, Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he was in it, and then also um, performing artist uh, Bad Bunny. 
Oh yeah, of course. Was in it as well. Yeah. But you know, if anybody else international that's not a, superstar, Bad yeah, Bunny. Yeah. But if anybody else that's not a wrestling fan could potentially have eyes on it because somebody else that they know is into it. Was Pitbull in it? No, that oh, was that it. was it. Surprise us. But I mean, like they'll do it. And this is just another thing of that with Marvel. They think, hey. Maybe we can get Billy Ray Cyrus fans mm. to buy a comic if we make a comic yeah. about Billy Ray Cyrus. You know, Pitbull is the Michael Buffer of music. You know, he'll show up at anything just as long as you let him yell sing one of his songs or yell one beginning. of the things. Yeah. Well, I Michael like, Buffer, the only thing he does is let's get ready to rumble. That is true. I think Pitbull's a little bit more versatile than Michael Buffer. He's like Michael and Bruce combined. Pitbull for Pepsi. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's was all. that a Pitbull impression? Yeah, that was my Pitbull that impression. Was... Pitbull for a Pepsi. <laughs> that's that's so Pitbull. Bad. That's Pitbull for you. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> you picked such a bad comic. <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm doing a Pitbull impression. Oh, let's, let's, let's hop into... Uh... So let me ask you about the format of these things. Okay. So uh, really slick cover. I mean, oh, yeah. honestly, the art is really, really well done. No, 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 it was. It's, it's like, it's like painted. It's one of those painted oh, yeah. type things, no, the right? Inside I mean, it's beautiful. Of, uh, the inside of it looks like regular. Yeah, it looks like game. a regular comic. Yeah, but um, the outside looks more like a graphic novel type yes. cover. You see those a lot. Yes. Um, is it just a biography? No, not at all. It's really? stories involving Billy oh, Ray Cyrus. Does Billy Ray Cyrus come out like Zorro and conk people over the head with his with his guitar? No. Here's Kabong. What, what is it? Kabang. What is Ka that who it was? Kab El Kabong. El Kabong. Kabong. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. the El Kabong of country music. Quick good old quick drama girl. Um <laughs> kids. What was what kids was his uh drama. his uh sidekick's sick his sidekick's name? Uh, the one with the very stereotypical it was a very accent. Very stereo yeah. stereotypical accent. Yeah, and I don't remember. If I say anything, it's going to be bad. It, yeah. So yeah. let's just. But I do yeah. remember his little sidekick too. Yeah, he he had a very Hispanic little sidekick. Yeah, he was like he sounded like Speedy Gonzalez. It, almost worse. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I just remember a quick draw. Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, you know what kills me is and and I get it. You know, um, Speedy Gonzalez. I I, I understand that it was a racial thing. I get it, right? But why is it that every Tex-Mex restaurant I go to has a plate called the Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> do they really? Yeah. What Tex-Mex places do you go to? I've uh, never seen that. I, there's at least two out in Hewitt that, that have uh, something called the Speedy Gonzalez plate. What What makes it a Speedy Gonzalez plate? I have no idea. Is it a lot of cheese? I'm not allowed to order it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one time you get out of your half bath. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I don't. I don't know what is on it. Um, I'm assuming it. Uh, I don't know. All right, it's Tex Max plus. So, works for me. You know, there's four ingredients. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I mean, rice, beans, cheese, meat. Isn't that uh, Jim Gaffigan's joke? He's got a joke about there being like three or four ingredients, and he used to work at a Mexican restaurant, and they would say, "What's in this enchilada?" And he'd mm. say, uh, "Beans." Meat, cheese, tortilla. You'd say, what's in this taco? Beans, meat, cheese, cheese tortilla. tortilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was, it was something like that. I think I've heard yeah, that before. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not a biography, unfortunately. What it is is stories evolving. <laughs> yeah, that's what I asked. <laughs> involving, not evolving. Yeah. Um, fans and Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm. And there's, there's something that happens in both of these. That's a sign of the times, but it's super creepy now, too, that I'll get okay. to. Basically, what we're shown is there's this couple. Um, I didn't bother remembering names because mm. these are terrible stories. Sure. Um, but it's, um, let's just call them Brad and Tammy because that's the first two names I could come okay. up with. So Brad and Tammy are a couple and they're out to look at this old fort because mm -hmm. this takes place in Kentucky where right. Billy Ray's from. Sure. So they're trying to hunt out this old fort that may be haunted. And Brad sees, uh, like what he thinks is an Indian ghost, okay. and it scares okay. him. Right? right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, I just want it to be. <laughs> I do want to say uh, also a, a um, disclaimer right now too that like I started playing. Uh, they remade Oregon Trail. No. Oh. On the Apple Arcade, oh, and okay. I downloaded it to try to start playing yeah. last night on your phone. Yeah. Yeah.
And now, a word from our sponsor. And we're back. And we're back. How'd you like that ad for uh, Jimmy's Mulch? I don't even remember the thing we called it before. All right. Jimmy's Mulch. Um, yeah, no, it's um, Oregon Trail for the phone, and uh-huh. I downloaded it. And there's a disclaimer at the beginning of the game that says, like, you know, basically our apologies to Native Americans. The depictions of Native Americans in the previous game is not this way in this oh, game. Oh, really? We actually have included, you know playable characters yada 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 I didn't, like i didn't play a lot of oregon trail what was so offensive in the i don't remember game? i don't oh, remember okay. that either all um, i remember is dysentery but my point is like so they feel the need to put that forward yeah in 1994 nobody cared no they really didn't and i'm not saying that as a i don't know i'm saying that is because there are things no, that if you cared. look for it yeah yeah absolutely. you could you could easily find things that you would be offended oh, by yeah but nobody or unless somebody finally made us think about it, and nobody was going to come out yeah, and be like, yeah. "Hey, nobody's getting fired over so, it." Back then. No. So some of this is ridiculous because of all that, but still, um, so it spooks the kids. They run away, and as they run away from the fort, basically Brad being scared, he runs into Billy Ray Cyrus and his horse Rome. Okay. okay. Uh, R O M E. R O A M. R O A M. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so Billy Ray's like, Hey, what are y'all doing? They're like, Hey, we're checking out this fort. He goes, Well, or I've, I've, we've heard that it might be haunted. He's like, Hey, you know, yeah, let me tell you a little bit about, you know, the history here. Like settlers and Indians fought. And, and then his horse starts singing. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. That's why they called, you know, Kentucky something battled state. I don't know. Like, okay. sure. Kentucky's known for a, being a place of war. Indian settlers, yeah. all that history. Yeah. Um, it's it's a half hearted explanation at stuff. And you're like, I, no, I don't know when Billy on. Ray Cyrus became a history teacher in the middle of this. Billy Ray Cyrus but is a known historian. He basically oh, when they introduce each other, like uh Tammy's pissed at Brad. Mm-hmm. She's had mm-hmm. enough of it. And he basically she basically calls him her ex boyfriend. Wait, Tammy is his girlfriend? Ex girlfriend. Okay. Because Billy Ray is also like, hey. Tammy Wynette? No, 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 no. Oh. Brad and Tammy, the couple that I oh, made up. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, we're still in the comic here. I was thinking Billy Ray Cyrus had a girlfriend named Tammy all of a sudden. No, and I he was, was like, married. I don't know who. I don't know his wife's name. I don't either. But um, the couple from the beginning. Miley. Billy Ray, that's his daughter. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Um, it's Kentucky. Have you ever heard Sorry, the, Kentucky. Have you heard the remix of Achy Breaky Heart, by the way? No. No. It is horrible. No, come on. It's I mean, I think they call it a remix, but you technically see the shock in my face. It's by like a Kentucky rap artist. Uh huh. The Island Boys. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. 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 But um, they, and they, Billy know, Ray sings the chorus on it. Yeah. But there's a part where Billy Ray just yells out, Wrecking Ball, in the middle <laughs> of the song. <laughs> you know, it if, is the worst thing ever, and you need to go check it out. If COVID were people, it would be the Island Boys. You know? <laughs> like, I think they are COVID. <laughs> Hello, it's think, Island Boys for COVID. <laughs> I just every time Got I see yet? them, it's just them saying their names over and over. That's again. all it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm an island boy. Okay, yeah. I don't. Which island? Go back. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it at all. But it's Billy just Ray, that one where they're in the swimming pool, just kind of moving around. Yeah, just the like the like side to side, just like that oh, the whole time. God. Um. So Billy Ray decides that he's going to. There's no to, qualification anymore to be a star. No, there's not. You know, there's no, there's no test. There's not. There's no bar. But, there's no anything. Yeah. I, Mike, I just don't think that we're uh, crazy enough is what it is, really. I guess, man. I don't know. I don't I know. Just, I, how do you, and this has nothing to do with Billy Ray Cyrus, but it kind of does. Um, How do you just be a star one day? I mean, how with, did TikTok pick them out? Just because other people like liked them and sent them to other, oh, you know. Look at these idiots. 
I mean, in some sense, yeah. Really? I don't. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure some people find them like. I don't want to just where we assume, are, though, right? But yeah. Oh, look, this guy's an idiot. Let's make him a star for a little bit. It's not even just make him a star. It's just people become famous and people watch them for entertainment purposes only. Like, no, nobody. It doesn't have to be. Uh, not everything has to be like intellectual, but at the same time, it's mm. not to say like every TV show ever created was either. Like I understand the medium. No, you're, you're, you're going to get good and you're going to get bad. So, so not everything was, was uh, gold. I get that. But, but things were prepared for. I, I don't, I don't think any of this is prepped. Like it's just people being stupid, and let's find the stupidest people we possibly can and make them stars. Well, that could be it. Too. I mean, it's just Jersey Shore. You know, that's that's what I immediately think of when I talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't think they're filming those scenes three or four times. Well, no, to get just the right angle of Snooky's butt as she bends over or whatever. No, but at the same time, the shows like I would say like. Keep it up with Kardashian mm. or even a different kind of reality show and like The Bachelor and stuff. Yeah. Like the amount of shooting and like redos and stuff on those. Yeah. Because let's be honest, reality TV is nothing but scripted TV just presented oh, sure. to you as sure. reality TV. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no, I, get I, I hate I hate to spoil The Bachelor, but when they go walk on the beach and the first claim he picks up has a black pearl in it. Right. There was some poor. You don't think that was put there? Yeah, there was some poor PA <laughs> who probably had to go out in the morning. And it was freezing cold on the beach. Yeah. Find one, pry it open, switch it out, and then, like, move it closer and so the guy could tell which Jeff one he needed. Pitch, picking up the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah. And here he is at catering. They ran out of ketchup for his mm. damn hot dog. Mm. And, you know, he's freezing cold and wet. He's just yeah. having the worst day. But you know what? Our shitty TV show looks good. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Well, all right. Billy, all right, Ray, Billy Cyrus. Ray Cyrus. So, <laughs> I don't even. This is going to be the most just. That's okay. Out of nowhere episode, That's but it's right. fine. It's not that great yeah. of a comic anyway. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, I think it's kind of the point, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll skim through through it a little bit quicker. Basically, okay. um, he decides he's going to help the lovers kind of you know find their way back sure. together. Sure. By inviting them to the concert that he's having that night. Oh yeah, that'll do it. And he goes, "Don't worry." Or no, no. He goes, "Show up tonight and ask for my road manager, basically." Mm-hmm. And she'll have tickets for you. She'll take care of you. My road manager, and a they, horse. No, <laughs> it's it's some pun. It's a lady, and it's uh, obviously not a real road manager because they you, gave her you. like a yeah. a punny name. Hey guys, since you yeah. two seem to have a hakey breaky but, heart, y'all are invited to my she concert. Goes, she goes, "Hey, you two, come with me. Don't worry. I already called your parents. They know everything's okay." Oh my! That's the thing in both of these stories because there's two stories well, in one comic. And the second one, Billy Ray has already phoned their parents. One, I don't know how they have their parents' numbers because in the second story, it's a different couple. Well, in 94, don't you remember, you know, you wear the big Jenko jeans, the wallet on a chain, and, and I, then your your parents' names and numbers on the back of your shirt. And I always had a phone nearby to be able to call sure. them. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I had a roll of quarters. It's just so weird that, you know, if you're a parent... Is that a roll of quarters uh, in your pocket? Smith, Smith, Smith resident. Yeah. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus here. (laughs) My kids are going to stay with you after the concert and go camping at the old fort. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Sounds sounds great. Oh, yeah. That's fine. All right. Got to go wreck and ball. (laughs) Just have them them back. Okay. Thanks. Who was that, honey? Oh, Billy Ray's watching the kids in the of the old fort. Billy Ray Cyrus. Cyrus. Oh. Oh, of the Longport Cyruses. I got it. Sure. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And so he uh, uh, sets up. That's fantastic. But he gives them both like uh, frontiersman gear to dress up in. Ah, he's, so they look like. He just carries it around. They look like Davy Crockett out sure, there while they're sure. riding around because they wanted to get yeah. in the moment. Yeah. Well, we find out the Indian that he saw. Uh-huh. Oh, also, by the way, sorry. Way after the concert, I just have to include this because it's so stupid, too. After the concert, uh, the kids go backstage to talk to Billy about this camping trip they're going to have at that sure. old fort yeah. to look for the Indian Community ghost. Community camping trip. To look at the Indian ghost and are for him. And the paparazzi goes, Indian ghost, we might have found our story. The paparazzi. <laughs> 
they're gonna go try to find this Indian girl sure. with Billy Ray Cyrus. Sure. Yeah, these photos of Billy Ray Cyrus really aren't selling the way they used to. We can find a good Indian ghost. Uh, so we'd, be, we'd be golden here, They're Bob. out there camping, right? And there's also a, a panel where they go through. I feel sorry for you sometimes <laughs> that you have to read these things. This is great. This one, here's the thing, is I made it through the first story. Yeah. The second story of the article, or yeah. the, of the comic book, was just even worse. That right. it was one of those, I just kind of skimmed just sure. to get the general. Sure, sure. Oh, you ever call do the those? parents, uh-huh, camping, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so, but Horse this, saves this the first day. one to me was just so ridiculous. And basically, while they're camping there looking for the Indian ghost, yeah. we see in another panel a collection of Indians, like, dressed up like Comanches. Okay. But collection one of them, instance. one of them is like a college professor. Mm, tenure. The other, <laughs> <laughs> the other one's a lawyer. Like they're making up. Like I don't know why you wanted us to dress up mm. in like our, you know, uh, headdresses. And yeah, things, yeah. Traditional for, gear. Yeah, for like yeah. whatever full moon like ceremony he had for this. He uh-huh. was like, you know, I'm a lawyer. I can't believe I'm doing this. So they, so Marvel was already like. Hey, we might have offended people already. Let's make sure that when we, you know, have the Indians show up, that we make them like One a, lawyer. a lawyer yeah. or a professor. Don't talk yeah. about tenure, though. They'll think yeah. they're a villain. That's so, true. That's right. You can't. Good God. But here's so here's basically what the story is, is it's <laughs> them dressed up as in pioneer okay. gear and at least a college professor and a lawyer. <laughs> And their dressed, buddies dressed in traditional dressed Indian up in garb. traditional Indian garb, each thinking that the others are spirits. Oh, oh! I didn't include that. They oh. also have firearms. They brought firearms. Oh, good. That look like old firearms, but are filled with blanks. Okay. I don't know where either of them got single this stuff. shot blanks. Yes, but Billy Ray's like, here, take these guns, and then the kids like, <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ray's just an agent of chaos. Is what he is. Well, the thing is, is he's like, here, take these guns. But <laughs> and the guy goes, are we hunting? And he goes, no, they're fake. <laughs> well, at least he's upfront about it, I guess. <laughs> but they made him to look like real. Li- it's like they went through a lot of effort. Oh, my goodness. For this cosplay sleepover. Wow. This is uh, oh, uh, Billy Be- Billy Bob. No, what what's his name? Billy Ray Billy Cyrus. Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus's LARP convention. <laughs> so you, can, <laughs> you can see why after reading one, I was like, "We'll do all these as their individual <laughs> episodes." Because <laughs> the second one, wait, you, you got to tell me how it turns out. <laughs> oh, it turns out. Do the paparazzi out, get their big big story? Um, they take a picture and somehow the moonlight makes it look like oh. they're smoky, like. Kind of. They get a picture of some sense. But basically, they can't tell that the other is real until a bear starts chasing one of the Indian guys sure. <laughs> into the <laughs> fort. <laughs> and Billy Ray surrenders the fort back to the Comanche people. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> Billy, Billy Ray Cyrus speaks for America. In this. They ripped the bear's head off and he said, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for Billy Ray Cyrus oh, and you kids. Man. No. So the bear chases the guy who is <laughs> essentially the Indian chief into the fort. Yeah. And they close the door so sure. the bear doesn't get him. Sure. And like. Black bear, brown bear. Here, uh, it's a black bear in okay. the comics. All and right. like, here's the thing I don't remember reading. Where Billy Ray said, here, like, here's the fort back. <laughs> but the Indian gets up on the fort to yell at his other buddies. He's like, hey, y'all, come on. Billy Ray surrendered the fort to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume it he, wasn't even his fort to surrender. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's the states of it. Billy Ray, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. So the second story. Like that wasn't enough. Oh, the second story somehow. Oh, the two kids are going to try to get Billy Ray Cyrus's autograph. It starts in court where Billy Ray's defending himself for giving away a fort. <laughs> um, but Billy Ray leaves to get on his tour bus and notice and they go and they stop at a gas station to get gas. Right. 
And there's something off and mystic-y about the gas station attendant. Sure. He's like, you know, you need to be prepared for where you're going. It's kind just of thing. that it's that bear. Yeah, he's like, like a gas station. He's attendant. like, I bet you're going to need this much gallons of gas. Oh. And like, he knows exactly to the point. And Billy Ray's like freaked out by him. 12.6 and gallons. They, and they found out 36.7. Oh. And they found out that the two kids who wanted the autograph had stored themselves away in the tour bus on the, you know, where you open and put the luggage. Sure. Yeah. So, so they had been there while they were driving from wherever this town was to this gas station you know on tour buses though you get used to that kicking the skeletons out of the out of the place where you put the bags and stuff oh man so it's like planes from london you know there's always those corpses in the landing gear that is true yeah every day (laughs) oh uh basically (laughs) i'm trying to remember where this because this one's just they stored they drive in a off, bus. They drive off into fog. Uh-huh. Like Billy Ray gets them out and it's like, hey, I called your parents to let them know we have you. <laughs> that's where it was. Sure. To let them know we have you. Hey, do you guys know of any ports around here? <laughs> like, that's the thing, too. He didn't talk to the kids about it. Uh-huh. I don't know how they would get their number. Yeah. But while they're at the gas station, called your parents. Well, gas stations hold all information about teenagers. It's like they're writing these stories. Rolodex. But it's like they're writing their stories and they're like, wait. Somebody's going to ask, how come the parents haven't checked on the kids? Yeah, sure. Have Billy Ray Cyrus call him. <laughs> I mean, just give him a holler. This one, they drive off into some fog and they mm. reappear in like 1300s in England. Oh, sure. And Billy Ray is supposed to fight a dragon. Right. All of this is tracking. Um, Billy we, we Ray never, versus we the We never dragon. see a dragon. There is a scene where he like steals the fire extinguisher off of the bus and runs into a cave <laughs> which i can only ass- and then surrenders the cave <laughs> <laughs> which is the only way i can assume that he defeated the dragon was with the fire extinguisher okay um i don't know there's a princess that falls in love with him <laughs> that throws herself at him that he's like hey i'm sorry but i'm already married hey i'm married darling uh to the road here's my favorite part of this one though so oh and my wife <laughs> so they go through they defeat the dragon somehow they get back into regular time right and they're about to leave and he tells the kids you just have to drive in reverse through that fog no he tells the, hey kids you still want that autograph and they're like yeah mr cyrus and he's like all right here's your one on the next page and you go to the next page of the comic and it's like a more like drawn out it's a big with, like, autograph of his with the fake and that's the end wow. of it wow he they go to the next page and it's just signed the dragon uh, I'm trying to f- see exactly what it says here so I can do the wording, but it is. Oh, man, this thing was awful. Wow, that is great. Um, I really expected it to be a masterpiece. I wanted uh, Billy Ray to fight the Green Goblin. No. Here, Oh, an autograph, please, Mr. Cyrus. Turn the page and you got it is what he says, actually. They're like, what page? What are you talking about? And then that. This guy's nuts. Is the last page of the comic. Oh, man. Look at that. With his mullet and his, what does it say? Dear fan. It says, dear fan, dreams come true. Billy Ray Cyrus. <sighs> dear fan, dreams come true. Billy Ray Here, Cyrus. Here, I'm going I'm to take, take that picture and send it to you, Mike, just so you can always I love remember that. It. I'm going to make it my background on my phone oh, so that man. I remember that every so, time I pick uh, it up. Yeah, we have more of those for in the future. All right. Oh, my goodness. That's great, though. I laughed so hard at that. That was great. Yeah, yeah. It was, I love ones that are just so ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And, like, obviously going in, like, you, I don't think you should expect anything. Well, it's, it's no different than, like, the, the, the NFL guy, the, the Hot Wheels oh, team yeah. up, you know, all of that crap. And those are always so great to and me. And what was, what was nuts is that people bought those. Yeah, there you go. I texted it to you, so you had it. Oh, boy. That way you can make it your background. There was another thing. Oh, I remember I saved it because I thought it was weird. Oh, here it was. Dear Billy. This is Billy Ray Cyrus talking about, remember when I said he was turning into a history teacher talking mm-hmm. about the Indians? Mm-hmm. He goes, that kind of fighting along with this, or along with the wars between the Indian tribes is why they call Kentucky the dark and bloody ground. Have you ever heard anybody I've call Kentucky I've never heard anybody that? call it that. No, no. The dark and bloody ground. Boy, what a place to move. Hey, guys, uh, we are, uh, you know, welcome to, to, your, the, to, to your new job at the Kentucky Tourist Board. 
Um, we're trying to come up with a new phrase that uh, will really get people from around the country to visit Kentucky, spend their hard-earned dollars here. How about the dark and bloody ground? All right, I guess we're adjourned. That'll work. Everybody <laughs> will love to come here for that. Put it on a T-shirt. Oh, man. So there you go. I went to the dark and bloody ground, and all I got was this crummy T-shirt. t-shirt. Yeah. It's probably blue blood. Hey, mm, Good job. Thank you. So. Well, that was great. Thanks, Zach. Ah. Uh, Mike, thanks for uh, always take a little chunk out of my brain. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. No, eventually one day I just I'm slowly (laughs) just making you brain dead, just one (laughs) story at a time. Well, technically it's Marvel and DC doing it, but sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So there you go. You can always follow us on Instagram, Bros, Foes, Heroes. Email us, Bros, Foes, and Heroes at Gmail dot com. Also. Rogue Media Network on Instagram as well. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I think that's it. Uh, just go look for other shows. Yeah. Yeah. Go look and listen. Look and listen. That's and it. until next week. And now, turn the page. Oh, uh, one one more. <laughs> yeah, the sound of the... <laughs> yeah, you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a, a like briefcase is the, the only thing I can call mm. it. I had like a plastic inlet that you could like stick cassettes in though. Oh yeah. And you closed it. Yeah, I remember. And it was full of those and the books. Yeah. And like, yeah, yeah you would follow along with the book and then and you need turn to turn the, the page. page. Yeah. Uh mm-hmm. one last call. One last call. One last shout out to Jimmy's mobile mold. Jimmy's mobile mold. Yeah. Mold um, uh, removal or just no, no, does no, he provide just, it? He can do either. Oh, okay. Uh, he's a two-way mold expert. He can add mold if you need more, or yep. he can take mold away if you need less. So, uh, and that's from your body, your house, or your business. Uh-huh. So he, he will not work on pets. No, no. Uh, if you've got a moldy dog, that's a different guy. It is. We don't have that guy yet. Uh, we'll work on finding that guy. Cause, sure. I mean, the amount of times I've been asked, I hey, think Billy Ray Cyrus would work on dogs. He maybe. Maybe remove the mold from dogs. Maybe he can defeat a dragon. Well, you gives, don't know that he did. And he gives kids guns. That's true. <laughs> fake guns. Fake guns. Your kids, fake guns. Uh, All right. right. It was great. As, as always, we appreciate you guys listening. Absolutely. And until next week, stay safe. Got a gun. Here's a gun. Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.